Welcome back to this Final Fantasy XIV Let's Play. Your Sambo and my toon Seraphis. And joining me is the special guest I mentioned in the last episode. That's right, it's Lena Sin, otherwise known as XX Whispers on YouTube, or um, Paulina is your real name. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. We're trying desperately not to laugh here, folks. We were having all sorts of funny conversations beforehand. Hey, look, it's a real pleasure to have you on this Let's Play episode. Thank you so much for joining us, by the way. What time is it over there? 5.22 p.m. Oh, okay, that's right. It's super bright and early here, so I hope you appreciate me getting up early on my holiday to boot, by the way. But anyway, folks, you might know XX Whispers from her YouTube channel. Um, she's a really accomplished pianist, and she plays a lot of stuff on her YouTube channel. By the way, the link is down below in the comment box. Um, but you know what? Um, the things I love most about your um, YouTube channel, Paulina, is your Final Fantasy um, music that you play, especially the um, theme from Thanalan, I think it is. Is this the area that we're going to actually hear that theme when we get outside? Because I've never heard it in-game before. Is it like the desert yeah, area? Yeah, it's in this area. Oh, awesome, awesome. In the desert area, it's going to play. Yeah, beautiful. So, um, just really quickly, so are you like a trained pianist, or did you pick it up yourself, or what's the go? Well, I took lessons for a year, and then I started teaching myself to play. Wow, so can you like um, play by ear, etc.? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. There you go, folks. So if you haven't um, checked out her channel, again, the link is down below in the comment box. I highly suggest you do because, of course, one of the reasons I love all Final Fantasy games is the music. The story, of course, but the music is one of the best things about it. And um, Paulina plays it so well. Um, so thanks for coming and joining us. And by the way, make sure you go and see her channel. Um, now, I'm a total noob in this town, by the way. Um, <laughs> so you're going to have to help me out. So I'm going to look at my quest log here which is called the journal for you guys who don't know how this game works I barely know how it works so I've got a quest here and it says uh, venture forth to camp black brush and I have to attune myself with the etherite crystal located there um, don't worry about what that means we'll explain it once we get there but basically it's um, a crystal that gives you quests and allows you to attune yourself so you can teleport there um, and get around the world really quickly. Hey, so Paulina, um, I have absolutely no clue how to get to Black Bush. Hopefully you do. Are you able to like lead us there, please? Because I'm such a noob. <laughs> sure. Awesome. All right, I'm totally following you right now. So I'm looking at my map. I have no clue where we are. Do you know how to get out of the city? Yeah. Yeah, cool. All right, I'm following you. Okay. Follow the map. Yeah. I, I know the quest log, it said something about um, going north of the city, so that's about all I know. Look at that, folks. How, oh, there's somebody um, crafting, by the way. We'll get into that a bit later on. But how awesome does this game look? I mean, look at the lighting. Look at the architecture, the graphics. It's just so amazing looking. There's someone else crafting over there that looks like they're doing some cloth work. Alright, so we're putting our faith totally in um, Lena Sin's hands. <laughs> Hopefully she's not leading us on a wild goose chase. <laughs> <laughs> so um, along the way, are we going to like come across some monsters and stuff? Probably are, aren't we? Like small squirrels. Okay. I'm sure we can beat down some squirrels. Um, <laughs> Now I am a, wow, wow, look at this, it's the desert, oh my god, okay, I've never seen the desert before, looking pretty awesome, except I lost you, where did you go, oh there you go, oh my god, it's, it's the theme, it's the theme from Thanalat, this is it, it's so awesome, it's pretty, yeah, very, alright, I've never <laughs> been here before folks, this is, this is great, okay, see, so there we are on the mini map, oh, okay, so now we can see on the map, there's us north of the city, and up the top there is uh, Camp Black Brush, so it looks like it's nice and close. Excellent. So no doubt, um, you, you've like explored heaps of the world already, I'd imagine. Yep. So Camp Black Brush is probably like super lame-o for you. You've, if, I guess you've done all the quests there and everything. 
Yeah, to the closest camp near the city. Yeah. So let's feel sorry for um, Lena because it's going to be awfully boring for her. She drags a noob. Oh look, a star marmot. There's your first view of a mob in the game, folks. Hey, um, are we? Am I too low level for us to have a go at attacking some of these things? Oh, actually, you can protect me you anyway. Can try. Yeah, yeah, let's give it a go. Wait, are we in a party? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Ready? So just for you guys at home, just to recap once again, to attack something, basically you select it. Whoops, you don't select your party member. Um, you select the monster. If I can, come here. Thank God. All right, there we go. So I selected the star marmot, and then I can basically put myself in um, active mode, which is F, and I am ready to rock. I can just click on it. Whoops. Click on it a couple of times, and it'll bring up my action bar there. And you can see the only skill I've got is a light swing. No doubt Lena has a whole bunch of abilities. You must have tons of abilities by now, eh? A few. Yeah. Like right. eight. Oh wow, cool. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to start attacking this because no doubt Lena will probably one-shot it. Um, protect me! Protect me from the horrible monster <laughs> if it starts killing me. Alright, here we go. So just basically clicking on my ability. Here we go. Got a critical on it. You can see its health bar down the bottom right there. And it's doing all sorts of crazy stuff to me. out of the way and whoa look at that Lena just goes in with a 50 cuff 1 2 totally taking this thing out probably so what's your class called by the way it's a puglet oh okay cool so it's like a hand-to-hand -hand combat fighter um, mm -hmm. okay so it says here um, just so you guys watching at home know how it works in terms of loot you can see in my chat window here um, that it actually says Lena sins loot list now contains a Gridanian walnut. Uh, so congratulations, you got a walnut. <laughs> I hope you feel better. <laughs> um, so um, if we pick up some loot, folks, I'll show you where that loot list is. Because um, it doesn't pop up like it does in other games. It basically appears in a little list uh, in your inventory. In fact, I will show you that now. We go to um, inventory here. And you'll see up the top here, we've got a whole bunch of things. We've got items, crystals, bizarre. We'll talk about that much later in the Let's Play series. We've got currency, and we have loot. If I picked up any loot from that monster, um, it would be in there. So that walnut that Lena picked up would appear in that loot list there, which I think you can then transfer to your inventory. Is that right? I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yes. All right. And you'll see up the top here, we've got a buff. If I hover over it, it says steadfast. Parry rate is increased while standing still. So any buffs that you've got will appear up the top there. All right, hey, can we, because um, I got lots of XP for that. I'm like halfway through Marauder rank one. Can we kill something else? Because this is good. I might actually level to level two. Let's go. All right, I'm following you. You go pick on something and I'll, uh, I'll back you up from behind. Look at that. Look at that view, guys. How cool is the lighting? You see it's turning night. It's so awesome. Whoa, what the hell is this thing? It's like crystals with legs. What the hell? Okay, these, mon yeah, these monsters are like totally different from the ones in Gridania. I've never seen anything like these. What a freaky looking thing. Oh, God. <laughs> That's the freakiest thing I've ever seen. Oh my God. Wow, you've got some awesome looking skills there. I've got a really interesting light swing. That's my attack. <laughs> Look out. Yeah, ranked up. Oh yeah. There you go. You can see in my um, chat log there, all party members, um, what does it say there? Lena actually got a chunk of something. What did she get? Oh, I can't tell now. She got something. Oh, a chunk of pyrite. And I think we all got um, yeah, some... Yeah, pyrite. Yeah, we all got some fire shards. And I leveled up. Oh, yeah. So very quickly, if we hop into the main menu... Actually, I need to put myself out of active mode. We'll go to passive mode. If I can. Come on. There we go. 
Alright, so hitting Q to bring up my main menu. Let's go into the um, attributes. No, not attributes. Where am I going to? I want to go to my point allotment. There we go. This is a screen here. When you level up, you get um, like points. So I've got four points here that I can um, distribute amongst my different attributes. Now, I'm like a melee fighter. So, Lena, you're a melee fighter. What do you put your points into? I'm presuming stuff like strength, yeah? Yeah, usually I put it in strength and dexterity. Ah, uh, okay. All right. You know what, folks? We're going to go with what she said. Um, because she probably knows better than us. <laughs> so here we go, going to put a couple into strength, a couple into dexterity, apply that, that sounds good to me. Um, also in the point allotment screen you've got these elements here. What I think they're for is for when you do, um, like when you become a mage or you pick up mage spells or different excuse me, different types of spells, most spells belong to some kind of elemental group. And so obviously if you're learning fire spells, you'll want to put your points into fire. If you, you know, if your spells are earth spells, then you want to put them into earth. So right now I don't have any spells, so I'm not going to put any points in at all because I have no idea uh, what I'll be wanting. We'll just leave until later. Okay, so um, I'm looking on the map, map, and where are we? Oh yeah, so we've wandered off the path a bit. Do you want to kill a couple more things, Lena, and then we can um, head to Camp Black Brush? I like killing stuff. Yeah. Yeah, okay. alright, lead the way. Let's kill some stuff. <laughs> and folks watching at home, you can see um, that it's turned into night time now. How good is it? It looks so awesome, the shadows. The, the entire lighting changes at night time. It's so amazing. Alright, so here I am beating up this cute little whatever it is, rat thing, <laughs> with my massive, amazing light swing. And... Um, Look at, look at Lena go there. She's just like <clears throat> pummeling everything with all of her skills. Thank God you're here. They'd probably be killing me otherwise. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I put myself in passive mode. That's a good start. Not. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, I did a whole bunch of stuff then. Nothing. I just watched you kill it. So <laughs> thanks for that. <laughs> but I still gained XP. I like it. Oh god, it's my favorite track from Final Fantasy 14 and I've never been here before and it's playing in the background. That's so cool. All right, let's attack this thing. So once again, folks, um, if you check my stamina gauge to the right of me there, you'll see it goes down with every attack I have. It's kind of like something that powers uh, powers my attack. So once that gets to zero, I can't actually make any attacks, and I have to wait um, until that rebuilds until I can attack something again. Whoops, mouse spazzing out. Wow, it looks so awesome in this zone. It's pretty cool, must say. Hey, so Lena, you must be... Um, you must do crafting and stuff. What What's your main crafting? Are you like a cook or a, um, a wood thingy or a, um, do you make clothes? What do you do? Or do you do crafting? I started um, on my leather working skill. Oh, leather working. Cool. By the way, if I'm going the wrong way, just tell me. I'm trying to follow it on my map. Um, so is leather work, like I tried um, doing stuff like cooking and gathering wood and stuff like that and I just used to fail all the time so badly, like literally the recipes would fail and I'd use up all the materials. Does that get better as you go on, like do you fail a lot less as you skill up? Yeah, as your as um, level, as you level it up. Oh, okay. Because it's so frustrating, like, I'd just be cooking all this stuff and trying to make clothes and just fail all the time. It kind of just got frustrating and I gave up, to be honest. Now, am I going the right way? Where are we? Oh, yeah. We can get on this road, right? Alright, here's another weird crystals with leg thing. Whatever it's called. Copper Coblin.
What's interesting here, actually, is that, like, Lena, you're, like, level 15 or something like that. Um, and yet, in any other MMO, you'd be, like, one-shotting this mob because it's super low. But in Final Fantasy, it still takes quite a few hits for you to kill it. That seems weird to me. Uh, do, <clears throat> like, do mobs get higher level as we go to different places, or are they all, like, the same level or something? That works. Whoa! Nice shot. And thanks for leveling me up again. <laughs> All this XP is so good. I'm level 3, I'm going to be way ahead of the curve. Um, like, so if we were to venture out into another place, would there be um, monsters that would, like, basically one-shot me? Yeah, there, there's some monsters that could amb ambush you. So, um, you still want to kill? Yeah, yeah. Kill the monster? Yeah, yeah? let's do okay. it. Well, on the way to the camp, I guess. I mean, you'd, you'd know... You know more than me. I'm totally lost, so I'm just following you. <laughs> so, all right. So, as we do get out into the world, the monsters actually start becoming aggro. Do they? Like they'll actually attack us for no reason, rather than these ones that seem to just wander around. Whoa! What was that? I got regen. Oh, it was a friendly little person. Hello, little person. Thanks for the heal. <laughs> That's nice. Alright, so I'm guessing we're coming up on the camp somewhere? Yes. Cool. We're almost there. Awesome. And I got to level three and a half. How good is that? I love it. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, oh, I want to kill a beetle. Let's kill a beetle. Go, go, gadget, like, swing. So, yeah, folks, um, obviously I will get more abilities than this as we go through. Probably following the main storyline, um, I'll pick up a lot more skills. In fact, actually, Lena, I can't remember how you do pick up skills in this game. It's been so long since I've played, and by so long I mean, like, a couple of months, which is a lifetime for me, because um, my memory's so crap. But anyway, um... How do you actually gain new skills? It's when you... It's like from storylines and stuff, isn't it? Like, you don't actually go to a class trainer or anything, do you? Or, or do you? I can't remember. I can't remember either. Yeah, there we go. We both both haven't played for so long. I'm sure we'll pick it up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I remember that you get I'm given... I'm in the same boat as you. Yeah, cool. All right, well, that's good. A couple of noobs. One person that's not a noob but is now again... Uh, and one person that's a total noob, that's me. Alright, so, here we go. I'm going to go out of passive, passive mode. So, folks, this is the etherite crystal that we've been talking about all this time. So, uh, you'll see if I bring up my map here, it says Camp Black Brush. And right in the middle there, it's got a picture of the crystal so that you know there's one here. Basically, we attune ourselves to these and they also give us quests and they allow us to transport all around the world. So basically this is like a mini hub and you'll quite often see people crafting here like this dude here, King Kush, he's kneeling down because he's probably about to craft. This little person here, Vinny Tinny, um, they look like they're cooking, they're doing crafting. Alright, so here we are at the Etherite Crystal. So we need to um, figure out how this works and how important it is. So effectively what you do is anywhere near the crystal, um, in fact, hang on a second, I'm going to walk away from it. Okay, so look up the top of my screen there and you'll see as I get nearer to Lena over there and to the crystal, see that exclamation mark pop up on my screen. That's the interaction menu, of course, and I can just click on that and it brings up the interaction list down the right-hand side there. And I can click on the word etherite and it should bring up a menu. There we go. <clears throat> So this is the same in all outposts, and you can do a bunch of stuff. You can read um, some lore stuff there, you can view some faction settings, and we'll talk about that later on. Um, we can assess Guardian's favor, and this that's the deities that our characters basically follow, and they give us some bonuses and buffs, and we'll talk about that later. Or we can initiate a leave quest. Now I'm just going to close that menu quickly, uh, go back to our journal, because you'll remember that uh, my NPC back at the Adventures Guild, she put a quest in my log and it's called a Regional Leave Quest. Now, we're going to come across all sorts of different types of quests. We've got local ones and regional ones. Basically, if I click on this, and it's called Moles for the Mining, 
this is a regional leave quest. Um, now, Lena, you can correct me if I'm wrong here, um, but a, a regional leave quest means that it's to do with this zone, and basically it's going to send us out on a quest, um, probably to take out some targets like moles or, or something like that. And as you can see here, um, it basically says I'm going to get a thousand gil for the reward. Uh, it's recommended classes are Disciples of War, so both Lena and I are Disciples of War, so that's good. The issuing person is the Uldar Adventures Guild, that's back in the city there where we were. Um, this is an interesting thing folks, you get a time limit for your quest, so make sure you check this. You can see the leave duration there is 30 minutes, so if Lena and I don't complete this in 30 minutes, basically the quest fails. Uh, it also tells you where the location is, and here's our objective. We need to eliminate the following targets, a naked mole times three, and that is the quest. So you can always view them in your log, but in order to actually activate it, we need to act we need to interact with the actual etherite itself and initiate a leave quest. And there you go, a list of all your quests that are in your journal to do with that particular crystal will come up. And of course at the moment we've only just got the one moles for the mauling. If I click on that, it'll bring this thing up here, telling us all the same information. And if I hit commence, it will do two things. One, it'll show us on our map, both our mini map and our main map, um, whereabouts we need to go in order to uh, complete that quest. But more importantly, number two, it will actually bring up the timer. Um, so I'm not going to start that just yet because guess what? We've run out of time for this episode. Oh, time goes so fast. Hey. Um, Lena, thank you so much for joining us, by the way, and thank you for um, getting me to the camp safely. I really appreciate it. Um, are you going to join us in our next episode where we go out and do my very first leave quest? Yes. Oh, thank you very much. Really appreciate you giving up your time. So there we go, folks. No problem. Please, please join us for our next episode. Thank you very much for watching this one. Hope you're having a great day. Take care. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.